Alright, hi, today I'm going to be showing you my soldering station. Um, the reason I built this is because buying them is actually really expensive. They're not cheap. So, I kind of just based it off there. And it's definitely a lot cheaper because I didn't have to pay for any of this stuff. Because I just had it already. So, I'll show you what it's all about. Just give you some views of it. This is the coil fan. And I'll go in more detail. So, I'll go over every single part. First, I'll go over the parts I used for this. Um, this I got from just a piece of metal and I bent it. And so, just if you have some scrap metal. This is just a coat hanger that I coiled up. This is a, a electronic speed controller that I built in another video. This is just a magnet and a little pan. Um, this is the head to a uh, helping hand. And uh, this is a coin fan I got out of a dead computer. So now I'll show you. Um, the coil is meant to hold your soldering arm, just like that. And that's the, the ones that you buy have that. And then. Oh, sorry about that. Here, I recommend a lot of people doing this because it's great, it's a good idea. All you do is like if you're building things or doing whatever, and you have to take some screws out and you need to keep them, put your screws in there. They're magnetized. They don't lose them. They don't drop out. I mean, they're great. And then when when you want them, you can just flip them off and then come right up. So I like that a lot. I do not like losing screws. It's really frustrating. So with magnets, you don't. And then here's my electronic speed controller that uh, activates my fan. You can change it to different speeds. So I'll turn that on real quick. Open the box. There's a turn on switch. Turns on right away. Oh, and this box. I got this box. It's just. Uh, little handy box like where you there's tons of different cubbies in it. Um, see the fans on. Then with this, you won't probably be able to tell, but changes the speed of the fan. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you what I have inside of this. This is a uh, steel wool, and that's where this part comes in. Sorry. Goes right in there, and then this is used to clean off your soldering iron. When you're done soldering, you just and it cleans off all the extra soldering iron, and then you can just put that back in. Got some extra in here. Let me run out. Then here's soldering iron. And this is a little uh, mini, little mini soldering stand. You can just kind of put it anywhere. A lot of people have these. It's a little mini. They're nice. Um, and then there's here's the head of the helping hand. Just clip right on there with another part. Then helps you solder things. <sighs> yep, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, these are nice. I mean, they help a lot. And I'm not going to actually put that together because it takes a lot of work and time. <laughs> and yeah, that's my home built soldering station. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, go out and build one. I mean, it's good. It's good to learn this stuff. So, thanks for watching. Hope it helps.